with the release of Sword and Shield on the 15th of November, I've jumped onto my sketch pad, put together three new designs for you to represent your Team Starter, Team Skull Bunny, Rookie Gang, or Team Sobel. Hop over to the Teespring store now. You can grab a 10% discount with the discount code STARTER. Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we're going to be continuing on with the Zerndon team, courtesy of Yuki. The team report is down in the description below. And let me know, I've said it all week, if you do try this team out or you have already tried it out, and uh, it would be great to hear your thoughts on the team, what your thoughts feelings are on the build in general and what you maybe have changed if you changed anything or if you just don't like certain aspects of it so let's get into it without further ado let's just jump straight into it as always if you do enjoy this sort of content drop a like on the video it does really help the channel out subscribe to the channel as well because we have a bunch of pokemon content like i keep saying lined up for this week well the coming weeks with sword and shield dropping which i'm so excited about and um leave your comments down below like I say, let me know what your thoughts are on the team and uh, on the episode in general. And if you haven't already, what what team starter are you? Come on. Come on, we need more answers. We've got a first opponent of the episode, so we'll hop straight into team preview. This is a great team to kick off with today. One that we never see too much. This is a black and white team. So we've got Reshiram, Zekrom, and then... Supporting cast of Kangaskhan, Shin Ninja, which I love to see. We've got Stack Attacker and Tapu Fini. So there's definitely potential of Sork on this team. I'd say there's more potential because of the Zekrom as well. Not only the Shin Ninja to Sork opposing threats and then let Zekrom pick up big knockouts. Um, it's something we need to really, really watch for in this one. Um, I think one thing... Hmm... This is going to be tricky because if the salt goes up, we're done for. What's a Moongus got? Has it got energy ball? No, it hasn't. It's got foul play. <sighs> okay. Hmm. We're going to have to utilize Groudon. Make use of our taunt as well. I think we might have to go Crobat. Hope that the opposing Zekrom's not scarfed. Um, Crobat... Gengar, Groudon, and I'm not bringing a Moongus, I'm going to bring Zed. Yeah. This is going to be tricky. This is going to be really tricky. To start, like, if the, the type of Vinny scarfed as well, that makes things even more difficult for us because there's no way for us to stop that, that initial sulk onto the Shininja. Really. But we will try our best. We will try our best. That's all we can do. Are you flashing your eyelid, flashing your eyelids at me? Like, like you're gonna kick my ass? It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna win through this. Okay, so we lead off with Crobat and Gengar against the Reshiram and the Kangaskhan. Thankfully, we don't see the type of Finny hit the field just yet. We need to preserve a Gengar at least uh, for that type of Finny later on in this game. So I think what we will do is, um, we could see Tailwind, but I'm not I'm not going to do that. I'm going to Tailwind. I mean, one, one of the things we could potentially do is taunt the Reshiram. We could Tailwind and then Mega Evolve and taunt Reshiram. I think that might be a good play because the Reshiram has access to Tailwind. I'd imagine that's probably one of the things that my opponent will want to try and do, set up some sort of speed control. The Kangaskhan, if it doesn't Mega Evolve, can fake out a Gengar, but we are seeing the, the, the Mega Evolution here, so it's going to pop out of that Mega Shell. Um, means we can't be faked out on either Pokemon now, which is good. So we get the Taunt off into the Reshiram, and we will get our Tailwind up. So setting up for the rest of the game, which is decent. So Blue Flare, straight attack, Crobat avoids, Crunch, no! No! Gengar! <laughs> okay, well, we take it. There's no chance of Sucker Punch either, so we could potentially double into the Kangaskhan now. Um, it's more likely for Reshiram to have Protect than Gengar, so we'll double the Gengar. I'm hoping a Supersonic Sky Strike and a Sludge Bomb will be enough. I'd imagine it probably is, unless this is a super bulky 
uh, Kangaskhan. And with with having Crunch, there's no way that it's got Sucker Punch. Watch it just pull Sucker Punch out of the bag now. And I'll just give up instantly. See how devastated I am. I've got a Game of Thrones mug and it got put into the dishwasher. And it's like it's just... It's just ruined. Westeros is gone. Okay, so we get the Sludge Bomb. Do a decent amount of damage. Probably not enough. Not as much as we wanted. Um, Supersonic Sky Strike. Crobat, it's all on your head now, my friend. Let's pick up a knockout onto this Kang. Come on. Boosh! Crit! There we go. Crobat heard it. It was like he heard us. It's like, don't worry, I'll sort it out. This problem is not a problem anymore. Blue Fair coming out. Man. Okay. Reshiram's mad. Another crit back. At least we didn't lose Gengar. That makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, we've got... Yeah, we'll bring Groudon in. Heck yeah. Because we can earn the power of the Reshiram. Probably pick up a knockout there. Or we could double it. Uh, and if the Zekron comes in, I'm not really too scared about it. Oh, the Shit Ninja. Hmm. Ah, uh, this is a pain because now ally switch is a thing, isn't it? Uh, I hate you, Shit Ninja. Are you going to ally switch? Or am I going to look stupid by Earth powering into that slot? Hmm. Well, what do we do? What do we do? We could eruption. But we're not gonna. We've not got Shadow Ball on Gengar, so there's no way we can double up into the Shininja. I'm gonna have to. I think what I'll do is go for the Earth part into the Shininja, so I'll look like an idiot regardless. And I'm going to. Do I sludge bomb that slot as well, or do I sludge bomb the Reshiram just to cover bases? I think I'll sludge bomb Reshiram just to try and cover some sort of base. Ally switch. We get it. Yes. Come on. <laughs> We should have been. We should have went for it fully though, and went doubled into the Shininja. But we get the Earth part into uh, the Reshiram. It hangs on. It hangs on. No. <laughs> okay. Blue flare into. Damn. Damn. That does so much damage. Okay. Uh, will an eruption get the Reshiram from this range? I don't know if it will. You know. And now we'll probably be able to get the Shininja. Let's go for a Sludge Bomb and an Eruption. We might see a Shadow Sneak come out from the Shininja here. Um, but I'm hoping that the Eruption will be enough to get the Reshiram. Shadow Sneak onto Gengar, yeah. Okay, well it all comes down to Eruption. Can it do like 2 HP damage to Reshiram? does double resist it come on it has to be on like one hp okay we get we get rid of it that's good that's good and uh, the shininja is gonna hang on with its little old sash there i think groudon may take a shadow sneak as well it's so important though for us to protect this groudon like we've never protected a groudon before if we lose groudon we will lose this match and it's stacks coming out. Of course it is. Oh. I think we've got to overheat. We've just got to overheat the Shininja. Oh, it's just going to protect them. We're going to see a trick room. Oh, I don't know if we can win this now. The mind games are just crazy. Um. Okay. Our options are going for an Earth part into the stack attacker. And going for a geom a geomancy is not really going to help us here at all or we go for the eruption there's the threat of wide guard um which wouldn't be good we could overheat the shininja takes away wide guard but then ally switch would be a bit of a pain and more we'll geomancy because if we can get rid of the shininja then the geomancy will help against the stack attacker for sure go shadow sneak so the overheat should get it if we survive this we do okay you see a trick room though. Let's see, let's see. What's gonna happen? Come on. Ten <laughs> so tense we do hit. That's great. Okay, that's good. 
Bye bye, Shininja. Hate you, hate you. I don't hate you. I love Shininja, but it's it's a horrible Pokemon to play against. Um, Rock Slide. That is not what we wanted to see. Really, is not. I'd rather. Uh, no, I don't know. Oh, yeah, and we're done for now. We're done for. We are done for. Um, because there's no way we take a gyro ball. Just a nasty team. Just a nasty team with a nasty Shininja. I mean, I didn't expect the rest room to be doing as much damage with that that blue flare, but it did some work, didn't it? Moonblast is not quite enough. Gyro ball pick up the knockout now. And that is good game to my opponent. That is unfortunate. That's like three losses on the bounce now for us. But I mean, we have played some weird stuff. So I'm just going to put it down to that. We're just going to put that on the drawing board. And uh, okay, we've got like three games left where we can pull ourselves back out of this. This mare that we're in and try and get through with this team. Let's see if we can turn it around for this next one. I th I feel positive that we can. Things are kind of falling into place with this team. It's just the little, little aspects that aren't. Would it have been better maybe going for... It wouldn't have been better going for an Earth Power into the stack attacker, to be honest. Because, like, we needed the Groudon. We could have went for an Eruption. That probably would have been the better thing. And not being so worried about potentially a Wide God coming out. Um, I don't know if we would have taken a rock slide though. I think it still would have done like 20, 25 health damage to Groudon. We could have missed though. Um, but anyway, we've got a different team. We're going to team preview. So next opponent is running a team of Kyoga, Rayquaza, Tapu Lele, Tapu Koko, Togunamaru, and the, uh, oh, what is that? It's the uh, Vikavolt. Revolution Charabug, there we go, the little bus there. Um, all right, well, this is going to be tricky. Lots of electric types on this team. So Groudon has a good time. Uh, the only reason why it doesn't is because of the Kyogre and then the Rayquaza paired up next to it. Um, hmm. I wonder if we can just brute force our way through with Zern Amoongus here. Could be an option for us, I think. Like, I'm going to actually lead that. Xerneas and Moongus, we're going to bring Groudon for sure, and Gengar as our last one. Hmm. Or Coma All. Nah, there's two, there's two fairies on the team, and a Rayquaza. Coma All doesn't belong here. Right, we'll lock in. And we'll get ready for this. So, really what we're going to try and do, uh, turn one... Depending on if the Togodomaru comes out or not, is we are going to try and just redirect, set Geomancy up, do as much damage as we can, hopefully get rid of the Rayquaza in the process, and then bring in Groudon to close the game up. That's the plan. Which, in my head right now, seems like not too bad of a plan. And we can probably do it, but I'm sure there's going to be surprises along the way. This week has been full of surprises. So, Pokemon Trainer, Colon. We lead out with our Zern and Amoongus. Amoongus is sashed as well, so we've got a little bit of um, got a little bit of wiggle room here. Lele coming out with the Togodomaru, which is a really interesting combination to come out. Because normally you'd leave the Togodomaru to utilize your <coughs> um, fake out support, but you can't do that in the Psychic Terrain. So we will go Geomancy and we will go Rage Powder. Uh, the Amoongus isn't going to be knocked out. It has to be doubled into here. So my opponent has to go for the double the double up here. Which is fine. If Amoongus does go down here, I don't mind that too much. Because it means we do get to bring Groudon in. And we can then use that to get rid of the Togodomaru. And we've got decent protection once we get the Geomancy up from the likes of Rayquaza. And potentially like uh, Kyogre as well. Um, so there's the redirect. There's the Psychic. Take us down to our Sash. Good old mushy. Oh, it doesn't. Moongus is just so strong. And it sticks around another turn. That is huge for us. Super Fang coming out. Um, we'll probably take a Super Fang with Xerneas this next turn. Um, the one thing we could potentially do, though, is actually... Uh, I don't want to switch Groudon into a Psychic. We could have switched Groudon in. Um, 
Onyamungus and kept Amungus around for later, but we're probably better off. Hmm. I mean, one thing we could potentially do is go Moonblast into the Lele and go for a Spall into the Togodomaru. It can potentially nuzzle us and we can get punished for that, but at the same time, Amoongus will still be sticking around. So if the Rayquaza does come onto the field, we've still got Rage Powder and the ability to remove it. We just have to kind of contend with uh, Paralysis. I'd rather put the Togodomaru to sleep though, right now. Just because I can. So Moonblast, this will get rid of Lele for sure. And the other thing is, like, a Dazzle probably wouldn't get rid of um, the Lele. Let's see. Nuzzle. Yeah. It's into the Amoongus, though. They targeted the, the Amoongus. We could have brought Groudon in there. Okay. Um, I don't think I bring Groudon in just yet, but I kind of feel like I need to. Um, just to get rid of the Togunamaru. Just if we see Kyogre come onto the field, it's going to make things super difficult for us. Yeah, we'll bring Gengar in. Just Gengar's not really got a way to hit Togunamaru, which makes it a bit more awkward. But I mean, it doesn't. there's no reason for us to not protect Xerneas the next turn and switch into Groudon if the Kyogre does come out onto the field. So we've got that as well. It is the Kyogre. The problem would be, I think, um, if the Togunamaru switches out into Rayquaza as we make the switch into Groudon. Hmm. Okay. It's Scarf Kyogre as well. It's like 100% Scarfed. So what we'll do, it, yeah, look at it. Look at it sitting there like it's like not Primal Revert. I, I noticed that now. <laughs> Um, hmm, okay. So do we just make that play, I think? Yeah, I think we do. I think we just make the play where we'll get brought on. Oh, I'm just a bit... I think what I prefer to do is have a paralyzed Xerneas. I need to just cover the water spout. I don't want Groudon coming down if that Rayquaza comes in. If they switch to Togo tomorrow out. But the U-turn won't work here because the Kyogre will be faster. So, Xerneas will get nuzzled. This changes things a lot though. Scarfed Ogre. Makes it way easier to deal with, I think. So we'll get Groudon in. Kyogre protecting. It's not even Scarfed. What is it then? Has it just forgot its blue orb? I don't understand. I really don't understand this. This is this is madness. Okay, so um, do we erupt in Moonblast again? I think we do. I think we got eruption in Moonblast. We might see the Rayquaza come in now. I'd imagine we probably do. We're still going to Moonblast the Kyogre, and I'm going to hope that we still outspeed the Kyogre, which I would imagine we do. Unless it's Scarf, then it has Protect. Yeah, and it's the most mind janky set that I've ever seen. Who knows? It might <laughs> it actually might be. It might be. It might be Scarf with Protect. It could be. It's tried it again. I don't know though. Unless the Ray's not on the back. Okay, so we get the Kyogre. After going for the double protect and the eruption, this should be enough to get the toga tomorrow. It is sashed, okay. It's sturdy. It's not even got the lightning rod ability. The nice cheeky. Cheeky tech then. Rayquaza coming in as last. It's probably banded Ray. Um hmm. Okay. I think we just double double target. We'll go for the Dazzle and we'll go for an Eruption. We've got Gengar to come in. And I feel confident like after a Dragon Ascent or two, if we can just get some damage onto the Ray, we should be able to deal with it. 
pretty handily. And the thing is, like, if you are my opponent, I think you have to target the, the Xerneas, and uh, you probably super fang the Groudon. So worst, we should end up with like a 50% Groudon, and maybe we don't get an attack off with Xerneas. But maybe they expect a Protect on Xern and double into Groudon, who knows. Let's see. They're gonna Mega Evolve. Or they might not even Mega Evolve. They might not even have Dragon Ascent. They haven't. We're gonna see a Super Bang. They have got Dragon Ascent, but they haven't Mega Evolve. I don't really understand this. <laughs> I don't understand anything that's happening. What's going on? Okay, well, we lose Groudon. Get the Dazzle. This will be enough to get the Ray. Uh, and the Togo tomorrow. Uh, oh, it's not. Okay. Requires a just hang. Oh, it's Sashed. Okay. There we go. There's your little cheeky item that you've got there, Mr. Sash Requires. Uh, the weirdness disappears, the psychic terrain. And uh, we will bring in Mr. Gengar. And we'll Mega Evolve and Sludge Bomb, and uh, we will be able to pick up the win here. Regardless of whatever else happens in this match, I don't think anything other peculiarness can happen at all so yeah we'll just go for that mega evolve sludge bomb and that should wrap things up and uh we do pick up a win there's the forfeit so very good game to my opponent and uh, at least we finished the episode with a win today that's great so we'll carry this on in tomorrow's episode finish off the week with two wins and uh before i go remember that i am doing a special halloween stream over on twitch this evening i did mention it in yesterday's episode i don't know if i mentioned it today already but come over we'll be starting around 7 p.m and probably going on till about nine o'clock and uh, we'll be playing a very halloween themed team on the battle spot so it should be a lot of fun it'd be great to see as many of you as possible and um it's to kind of get started again back into the streaming mode of things with myself and the channel and everything surrounding that sort of thing so have a great day morning afternoon night whatever time it is where you are I will see you all for another episode tomorrow and we'll wrap up with this team then. So until then, guys, thanks for tuning in. Take care and bye-bye.